Hello everyone, today we will learn Android application. We we'll start by downloading Android Studio from uh, developer of Android. We go to Google, then search for it, then download it here, then accept the terms and conditions. You should read it, then download it. We'll wait until download it. We'll go to download another thing. Come back to Google again and search for JDK Java Development Kit tools needed for working application. We will go to check the website. It's in Oracle website. Then we go down downside. We see that we have three options. It is Linux, Mac, and operating system, and uh, Windows. We choose Windows. We have to install it. Uh, x64 and x64 msi msi is my laptop so standard one you will choose the middle one and download it for mine and i will download the last one because my laptop type is msi so wait for download until completed after completion we will open it i take a copy in, in desktop so you see what we will install install jdk as well install it next the file position next after that we will wait after that we will close the JDK after it's installed we will come now to install the Android Studio we open the application we will wait until it's running uh, installing the application and downloading it, it depends on your computer speed. Now it's running up. We will install it after we install JDK for it. It may take little time according to your PC or computer laptop. Here we come, we choose next, then we choose next, file location, choose next then install Android Studio. I already installed the Android Studio but I am installed for tutorial purpose. So it's going to install all application and wait for it. After installation also there will be some other files that need to be downloaded in uh, and plugins also. So until it finish uh, the speed of installation and downloading it depend on your computer as mentioned before. Now we run it and the studio. Where is it? Where is the shape of it? Uh, we don't need this SDK because SDK will install it inside the applications. I downloaded it previously. So I will delete it. I don't need it. Okay, we came back to Android Studio. Uh, let's search for it. Uh, Android Studio and open it. Wait for it to run. And some computers might take a while to run it because it needs. I and pin the last one and pin the new one we'll go to if we see here we have plugins we can search for plugins for Kotlin because it will work in Android with a Kotlin language programming language we can check other ones if you can check for SDKs you can go to marketplace and search for it what SDK you are, uh, you are looking for and else customize you can customize the application the shape of it the size of uh, font of IDE ID it's being this application okay yeah, I can adjust colors for red green vision yeah, it's up to you and key map it's up to you what you want to choose project will come to make new project choosing new project we came down to choose empty activity if you want only coding we will choose no activity but we will choose empty activity inside empty activity there is name package name language of it and minimum SDK application name or name of application where you want to put it 
here we have some uh, he's saying C is not writable maybe because I overwrite the Android study that's why it's coming I'll change it to another application so I don't have a problem I'm checking other application to a same and C don't change the location I'm changing it because I have uh, get maybe overwrite it that's why so I will change it I'll try choose something some other folder if it doesn't work I'll go to choose D or E it depends on what hard disk your hard disk is having here. if you have same problem downstairs like uh, right sign downstairs you can change the play so it. then after that saving it after saving it we will have a package name here the imports of library we needed for application and class main activity where the application will be for coding if you see this is main activity .kotlin. and here still some other things need to be important on updating index and building gradles as well and this file is main activity kotlin where you will program it using Kotlin language and in activity main.xml you will see the design of it or user interface of it even the user interface have design and also code you can split it you can make it design only you can make it code only it depends on you wait for gradles until it's building this may take time on your application so if it's not running fast you may be in your PC or computer might be slower so you start until all gradle build it does gradle is needed for running the application and to work on it wait for it here is come here is our application is coming main activity if we check here main activity is that file where we our code will be it will be in the app folder java folder after that the package name folder as packages inserted inside the file and the file name main activity we can download virtual devices through this icon device manager we have virtual and we have physical physical the device you have a reality if you have some device you can use it Create. Uh, we see this as our devices that downloaded previously. So uh, the size of it, each one have different size, and you choose what IP and what thing you want for it. If we can create someone, we see that there is categories. We can use phone, tablet, where operating system, TV, automated. It depends on what you want to work on it. We choose phone because it's depending on phone. Our course. So we go search for the phone that we want. What phone you want to want? Let's see. I think I'm using I'll use Galaxy. You can also import new hardware or make a new profile hardware as well if you have it. We have Galaxy Ultra here. It is it we go next here. Our uh, image system image is meaning which operating system of um, Android you will use recommended you have recommended it will tell you the other one you see sign of downloading it so this one is is I should download it so I should accept the terms and next and after that downloading this version of it after downloading we will wait until unzipping it and we see that the file is downloading from google.com android transportary system images google ipis and here is the file of the system the download as you see the file size is 1.4 gigabytes so it depends on your internet connection and the speed of it it will download it other things if we see downstairs there we we are installing git has been installed and other things here on the right scanning for indexing file until file files come comes up it depends on the speed of your computer so so sure cpu another thing effective
now we are installing SDK components we see the path is shown there as well as showing the path of downloading also showing that install Google APIs until x64 at all a revision of it it's all shown there information we'll wait until downloaded now it's like 90 percent okay that's good it's going to be hundred wait for it now it's downloading all of it checking the existing file after that it will download this system image system image is the operating system you will use it on that phone you want create it so this is an example I will not install it actually because I have one two three four five devices it depends on you on what uh, what device you want to use it or to create it on inside the Android Studio also as we mentioned we can use physical one it's unzipping the file until the image come downloaded all of it we will wait until unzipping all of it this may take time so be patient so when you install your Android Studio and installing SDK and installing virtual devices and other things as well here is done it's finished it's written completed finish so we can now finish it here is button finish we can click button finish now look here it's become activated we can choose it so we choose S, yes. Android 12 version of it. We can name the uh, Android virtual device, AVD is meaning the name of it. Also, which type we use, we can change it here also. We can change our, the Android 12 as well here. We can see the startup orientation, how we want it for the on landscape. The graphics uh, keep it automatically, and the other thing keep it enable device frame. We can choose the frame of it um, and he's saying there is a red sign the skin directory does not point about to a valid skin so maybe there is a problem about this uh, AVD so you can choose another one but I'm showing you you can show more options and things like that after the device if it's there is no problem about it you'll click finish and it will be created here I'm trying to change name but I don't think it will be effective because we have this skin directly does not point uh, so we try enable disable this one but don't forget keep it enabled after you finish you will click finish the finish will come up finish button and you can install it so still there is no problem there is a problem about it and here our git is installed as well so as we said you can change device or choose another device I try to change the name if but it doesn't work so try to choose another device or choose another operating system with it system image so maybe it's work and after that click finish now I don't need a 22 ultra because I already have five devices over there so we keep it like that mm, it doesn't work after that you will click finish if you try to change the name of AVD after that you will finish and talk now I will cancel it for me because I don't need it and already I have Galaxy S22 we come to our project we see our file project here you choose Android after that we open main activity let's see the file here is our file where all coding will be and the other file is where design will be you can design also have coding of it you can make it separate design otherwise as we mentioned it before so we see that here is if we make a design we have hello world here we can see our platform we see that our buttons and other things here here is our first text, hello world, a famous world in programming language. Okay, we can change that by going to code and 
here is the text hello world we can change it to welcome to android okay and we try to come to run it so when we need here the word is changed we can come to the device change the device which device we want to choose and it should be up there and after that next to it up next we'll choose the device we want galaxy nexus for example we run it we wait for gradle to build it up it will take a little time really android studio is a huge public uh, uh, sorry is a huge uh, program so you need to be patient as well as here is our device is coming as well as when you're installing or something, you should be patient also. Here is our device, here is our menu with it. We try to click on when you turn on your mobile as you do in reality. We wait it until Godel is built. It. Here is come. Next is by Google. It's come over. We wait and the application will be run it automatically because already we run it. Here is phones coming and now our application come up. Here is it. Welcome to Android. The name of our application, my application as we name it at the beginning. And here is welcome to Android. Also we can check on the list of the device. Here we have my application. This is when you create the application. You give a name. This is the name will be the my application and welcome to Android. That's end of the lecture. See you bye.